gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce our next keynote speaker, Mr. Torbjorn Turbo Shogren, the Vice President and General Manager of Government Services for Boeing Global Defense and, excuse me, Bo Bo Global Boeing Services. Mr. Shogren also oversees international defense entities for the United Kingdom, Australia, India, Saudi Arabia, and Japan. His previous roles include Vice President and General Manager of International Government and Defense for the Boeing Company and multiple Air Force sustainment portfolios for the F-15, A-10, F-22, T-38, and the QF-16 aircraft. He is a University of Cape Town alum and Juris Doctor from the Tulane Law School in New Orleans. Please welcome Turbo to the stage. <laughs> Good afternoon. I'd like uh, to start off this afternoon first with thanking LOA. Uh, as General Hawkins said, uh, and since we're here in St. Louis for the second year, I think it has been a remarkable opportunity for uh, a number of our customers, partners, and certainly uh, for us in the Boeing Company to have an opportunity to have as engaged uh, a set of discussions as we've had but also uh, to provide the opportunity for both uh, US Transcom, AMC, and the Boeing Company to have um, opportunities to engage with, our, uh, with a number of our partners around the world. Um, having the opportunity for many of you all to see the F-15 production line certainly has been a proud moment for us as well. Um, for those uh, United States Air Force customers, together with uh, our allied partners, uh, thank you also for a number of the comments earlier today. Um, we certainly appreciate the role that we, the Boeing Company, play with regards to the readiness in the current environment. But before I start my remarks, I was certainly impacted, like I'm sure many of you all were today, by how General Minahan started off the day. Um, not just inspiring, but from his perspective, when he started off and he recognized those airmen and airwomen on the stage for what they have done for those of us uh, who have afforded a lifestyle um, that we all enjoy, their sacrifice is unquestioned. He then noted, as he went through his comments, that what kept him up at night was ensuring that he was worthy of them. On behalf of the Boeing Company, what keeps us up at night is making sure that we are worthy of you. A year ago, uh, at the same conference, we provided our comments with regards to where we were, specifically with regards to contested logistics solutions. But in the last year, we've seen a lot of change. With what has occurred, certainly in Europe, certainly in the Middle East, and the continued geopolitical uh, dynamics within the South China Sea, a significant amount has changed in the last year. Disruptive technologies continue to change our business and the challenges that we all face. And within the global markets, we certainly see economic hardships throughout the supply chain. Together, we have to lead through these changes. Earlier this year at the AFA uh, Warfare Symposium, General Elvin mentioned that these are the times of consequence. These are the times that have significant implications for all of us who are responsible for international security. Earlier this week, General, Me General Miller, in his remarks, he mentioned that we're in a relay race. And what is critical is to understand the how between industry and between the services, we cannot drop the baton as we go through this relay, through this relay race. And finally, General Van Ovost, in her opening comments, she talked about the importance of partnership, that together we deliver. Those three points, number one, that we're in this together, number two, it is a race that has already begun and that we cannot drop the baton, and then three, that these are times of consequence are not lost on the Boeing Company. Allow me today to walk through what industry can do in this shared mission. We in industry 
and certainly in Boeing, acknowledge that the only path for success is through humility, adaptability, and a commitment for continued improvement. Many of you know the Boeing company, and you know our global services organization, and you know that our mission is all about mission readiness, to provide mission readiness in a predictable and an affordable manner. We hold ourselves to that standard. And last year at LOA, uh, one of my colleagues provided in her keynote address, Janesse Simler, uh, a number of focus areas, uh, focus areas and dynamics that we see in the contested logistics environment. Let me just remind what those four themes were. First, the entire sustainment ecosystem is required for success. Just like General Vanova said, together we will deliver. None of us can do this alone, and we are here to partner. Secondly, we need to lead with, share con with shared confidence that different outcomes are possible and good intent prevails across the stakeholders. Third, a common understanding of our readiness objectives will guide our future success. And fourth, the time for innovation is now. Indeed, we must act now in order to prevail, not just to deter, but as General Minahan said, should conflict break out, we have to be prepared for success. We believe that the Boeing Company's portfolio of commercial derivative, strike, and vertical lift aircraft will certainly bolster that deterrence and help win the next conflict, but logistics is the leading factor. Data-informed sustainment and the ability for precision predictability to find and fix operations and to support those cost drivers is a critical value that we in industry can provide in order to make sure that we do not drop the baton in this relay race. Beginning a partnership journey early is critical to ensure capabilities and networks are established, and I would argue across our services and certainly with a number of our allied partners, partners, those partnerships are in place, that journey has begun. So what is our response? Decision makers need that predictability and that consistency in an ambiguous, contested environment. So what have we done since we spoke to you a year ago? Number one, we've organized a team within the Boeing company, accountable into our government services organization with full-time focus on bringing contested logistics solutions forward. Indeed, Jeunesse Simler, who was before you a year ago, has been asked to head up that organization to make sure we marshal all the capabilities in the Boeing company, we marshal our investments, and we make sure that together with our allies, with our services, we're facing into those that have to make decisions about budgets, how to do so to leverage these capabilities and these investments. It's the first thing we've done. The second, we have in the Boeing company an extensive aviation distribution network. Indeed, we have the largest aviation distribution network. We have tested and we are testing the resilience and the capability of that distribution network to provide that type of um, readiness in terms of product placement. Third, the Boeing company has invested and continues to invest significantly in next generation product support. The video that led us off today demonstrated some of those investments, but those investments, particularly in the area of common digital solutions and predictive analytics and condition-based maintenance, we believe are gonna be critical in a contested, congested environment to deliver readiness when the traditional means of logistics are unable, are not uh, able. And finally, we are committed to making sure that our commitment, we're, we're, we're committed to ensuring that the, um, the focus that we've indicated we're gonna bring in this area is brought to bear, and that's done through our organizational investment 
and our internal scaling of our capabilities. When it comes to the global presence, Honorable Lohman uh, has noted the need to be able to leverage the global regional support framework. As I noted earlier, Boeing has the largest aviation distribution business in the world, and our posture, which we have tested, is to ensure that that network is able, through our distribution centers, our warehouses, and our commercial airports, that not only are we able to keep the commercial world's fleet flying, we are able to enable uh, the readiness of our uh, military customers. We have also focused significantly on our presence outside of the United States. So if you look to countries like uh, Australia, Japan, Korea, Singapore, and India, you heard earlier today from General Hawkins, you, he talked about going to Paya Bar in Singapore. He talked about what has already been done in Australia. I was just in Australia last week with Kazji, uh, Chris Diebel, and I should make sure that you all are aware, our allies outside of the United States are committed to this regional support network and are committed to ensuring that there is an ability, should the balloon go up, to ensure that we can bring repair and we can bring readiness to bear. We, the Boeing Company, are proud to partner in those countries I just mentioned to ensure that those capabilities are well aligned with the needs of the United States as well as our allies. Industry service collaboration. Boeing is increasing the readiness of our military platforms through advanced data frameworks, innovative partnerships, and the promotion of the use of performance-based logistics. Our partnership, for example, on the C-17 PBL, allowed us last year to partner with AMC and Transcom on Exercise Mobility Guardian. That contract, that architecture allowed us together to utilize a number of our investments in data analytics to make sure that the right aircraft undertook the right missions at the right time. The C-17's innovative performance-based contract includes partnerships not just with the United States Air Force, but also with various international operators, and it enabled us to utilize that global support network that I alluded to earlier. This global partnership significantly accelerates application of various solutions wherever needed, and we saw that firsthand up in the north of Australia. Through the application of common digital solutions, comprehensive health management systems, and condition-based maintenance, Boeing has been able to identify those parts demand in advance of need, enabling pre-positioning and opportunistic maintenance actions. We were proud to participate in Operation Mobility Guardian and certainly uh, recognize the importance of that in, the, in that exercise as well as that readiness going forward. Partnerships and distance, particularly with regards to pre-positioning, to account for that tyranny of distance and that tyranny of water, as was referenced earlier today, we need to recognize the need to pre-position that urgent parts and supplies need to be available at the point of use in order to be responsive in, the, in view of the complexity of those unknowns and the fog of operations. Three points. Pre-positioning urgent parts and supplies at the point of use, Boeing's been working with DLA uh, to better understand what parts need to be pre-positioned and stored. Our goal is to lean forward to shorten the kill chain and to have those parts ready available at the time of need, using that distribution network, using those presences that we have outside the United States, and using those partners with whom we engage heavily including in our industry and customer framework. Global network of logistic services. Again, that distribution network is extensive and it's already in place, and I would argue from an aviation parts perspective has a unique capability that it brings to bear. And then finally, developing that infrastructure for regional proximity. As General Miller has noted routinely, the need for us 
to be able to leverage that regional uh, structure, that regional infrastructure is significant. And we certainly are partners in that regard with our customers in Japan, Singapore, Korea, Australia, and India. And we believe that those capabilities will certainly need to be leveraged in the event of a conflict. Next, with regards to partnership, we are leaning on our diverse network of partners to enable greater success. We, the Boeing Company, have a significant uh, set of partners worldwide that certainly understand the importance of access, presence, and those international agreements needed to ensure that platform and services are flexible and capable of operating in a complex environment. That network of partners ensures that that access and presence through those agreements is in place. And that's certainly both a commercial and a defense network. The logistics e ecosystem built on those enduring relationships supports platforms from various countries already, including in Japan, India, Australia, Singapore, New Zealand, and the UK, as well as in Europe. While we have focused significantly on the South China Sea, and certainly the first and second chain, we should not ignore that a number of these challenges exist in Europe as well. The Boeing Company does many things well, but we also have recognized that a number of small businesses are critical in order to bring agility and innovation to bear. And teaming with those small businesses allows us to generate, with our scaling capability, a defense industrial base that doesn't exist today. Boeing is creating outside in innovation and increasing the small business capabilities in Boeing's offerings that we believe is critical to the bottom line and to the industrial base. Today, DOD's small business strategy, which was released in 2023 in January, and certainly calls on the focus on small business, recognizing their capabilities. Um, small businesses certainly spur innovation and represent the next generation supplies with increasing diverse capabilities. They bring a degree of agility and they bring a degree of innovation forward that in many cases is more so than what the larger OEMs are able to bear. DOD continues to guide large OEMs to these small business programs through programs such as the Apex Accelerator, the Rapid Innovation Fund, the Mental Protege for quick linkage to small partners. Many of our small business partners are currently showcased in our exhibit. To the extent you haven't had an opportunity to do so already, I would suggest that you visit the Boeing booth and you meet a number of these small suppliers and see how they, together with us, are gonna bring that innovation to bear and how we can support them in that regard, helping them scale. Performance-based logistics, I mentioned it earlier, a critical enabler, we believe, to some of the innovation that was brought to bear in uh, Operation uh, Mobility Guardian. But certainly expanding performance-based partnerships by maturing advanced data analytics through offering a greater degree of predictability and readiness has been a great enabler for us, not just on C-17, but across a number of vertical lift and commercial derivative, as well as strike aircraft. An integrated PBL structure aligned with our international FMS and, DPA and, uh, FMS and DCS programs certainly also allows us to leverage those partnerships and bring that readiness to bear through interoperability as well as exchange agreements. The C-17, like I said, is perhaps one of the more well-recognized examples of that, but we have that across a number of our programs in Singapore, Korea, and Japan on F-15, just to name a few, vertical lift as well, particularly in Europe. Expanding performance-based logistics supported through um, advanced data analytics can drive and enhance predictability and readiness across the force. And implementing an integrated PBL structure aligned with those FMS DCS operators, particularly with regards to commercial derivative programs, can improve readiness through interoperability, as I noted earlier. Customer support operations. The Boeing Company understands the challenges associated with operating regional fleets of diverse aircraft across multiple partners. 
Today, Boeing supports over 13,000 commercial aircraft operated by 800 airlines, showcasing our extensive experience and expertise in the aviation industry. It is not simply a distribution network. It is also making sure that the availability of those aircraft is done on a 24-7 consolidated customer basis. We have our support centers that are there 24-7 to ensure that those airlines, those customers, have that availability and have that reach out for those challenges that they face. Finally, as I come towards the end of my prepared remarks, contested logistics is not something that we have to worry about in the future. And it's not just something that we have to worry about away. It is something that's already a factor today. And frankly, it's something we already have to deal with on the home front. What keeps us up at night is making sure that we are worthy of you. How are we ensuring that resilience? How are we using robustness to meet the mission? We believe that together, as General Van Overst noted, that we will deliver. And Boeing is certainly committed through its investments and through its people to providing those tools. We believe as we continue to lean forward and develop the landscape where we can successfully navigate these turning points that that partnership will remain robust. As partners, we share those same values and the time is now. In closing, I leave you with this. Improving mission readiness is a task we all share and an outcome that is so vitally important for the warfighter in a contested environment. We at the Boeing Company stand committed to you. To us, it is not just product support, it is partner support. Thank you so much for having me today.